family welcome back to our channel in case it's your very first time here consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share yeah so as you can see today i'm super excited and i have some beautiful ladies here so they are going to introduce themselves <laughs> i don't know i'm going to start with who but you can start introducing yourselves Hey guys, well, welcome to Rose's channel. I wanted to say welcome to my channel. My name is Malika. I'm also a content creator and today it's an honor to be here at her channel. Yes. Hi guys, welcome to Rose Kunit's channel. My name is Jen Blessing254. Yes, and guys, they are all YouTubers. You know this girl, right? Malika Kenya. Kindly go subscribe to her channel. She's on the road to 50k subscribers so make it happen very soon and this one she is also a youtuber she is called jane blessings right yes. yeah kindly go subscribe let's make her reach 1k subscribers yeah so today we have amazing content from these beautiful ladies and it's gonna be hot so remember to subscribe yeah subscribe subscribe so that you get this amazing content that we are going to give you yeah yes please subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe. we are waiting for subscribe. you to subscribe Something. that subscribe button let's make it happen yeah yeah so today we have a hot topic that we are going to discuss we yeah that we are going to discuss among us and hope you are going to like this video so Malika just came in my village and I'm just happy. I'm just happy because she visited me and yeah, I'm just happy. <laughs> That's what I can say. And this one, she just landed from abroad. From abroad, guys. <laughs> so these two village girls are sitting with someone from abroad. From guys. abroad, yeah. As you can see, she's just <laughs> smiling. The smiles are for abroad yeah, people it's still new. <laughs> yeah they are new so mm -hmm. she's going to share with us the experience what she was doing there and how was life there so we'll be just asking her a few questions then we discuss about them we know what was going on there guys yeah yeah or, yeah 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 you can know like asking a thing or two especially for people who have not been abroad yes. you know we just want to learn from her and we also want connections. Personally, I've never been abroad. Yeah. And I just want to be open. I've never boarded a flight. <laughs> you will. In Jesus' name. One day. Yeah, Amen. Day. Amen. Very soon. Yeah. yeah, so maybe Malika, you can start asking her anything that you feel like you, are, you want to know about her. Okay, guys. Let me take over the channel since it has been given to me. <laughs> yes. So first of all, I don't. Uh, we want, I want first to know which country she has been to, yes. and for how long, and if that it was, that was her first country or she's a traveler. You know, it's good to know. So my question is like, it's like three questions. Like, which country were you in? I and was in Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, Lebanon is in the Middle East. Yes. Oh wow. So you went for vacation? No, mm -hmm. not vacation. Mm -hmm. Just go there to work. Uh huh. As a house manager. Ah, yeah. a house oh, wow. manager. Yes, they're, oh. yeah, they are called house managers. Don't you dare say that <laughs> name you want to say. <laughs> no, I don't want to say anything. Uh, yeah, it's house manager. Yes. That's what it's called, eh? Yeah. Professionally. So, like, um, you know, like when you hear like people, especially from Kenya and Uganda, a lot of girls, young girls, yeah. leave the country to go work in the Middle East. So we are going to learn the experiences. I don't really have specific questions, but they will come as we go. Yes. Eh? So that was your first time flying? Yeah, it was the first time. Mm -hmm. I landed in Lebanon on 2021. 2021? Yes. Oh, so you've been there for one, one almost year. Two years, almost two years. One ah. year, six months. Ah, one year, six years. months. Yeah, so... Hmm, that is good. So <laughs> one, year, so good. Six months. one year, six months. Yeah, that is one and a half yeah, years. Yeah, so it means she has a lot of experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being in a foreign country for that long, that is good. That is okay. She will share. So you her. have too much to share with us, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah you have to even if we will not finish today mm -hmm. We will continue. We will continue. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, she has wow. a lot to share with us. Yes. Oh wow! wow. So you, you go, you're going to ask, or I should continue? <laughs> no, you've not asked all questions. Okay. okay, the ones I have. So maybe how was your experience there? And okay, first of all, let's start with let's start with hmm. what was so good about that country that maybe is not in this country that you're like, mm, I wish this was found back at home hmm. any experience or anything any ex experience wise or maybe even hmm. anything that maybe you saw and you're like i've never seen this in kenya yeah hmm. or something that is there yeah. and it's not here in mm -hmm. kenya to me what i have learned mm -hmm. when i was there you know guys we when we are in the village let me say in the village yes. we can't stay together we just go we we live our own lives yes right? yes yeah. but there yeah. you are in security you just uh, stay where you where you are or uh, the people who will come to take you uh -huh. you just stay there until you finish contract so freedom there's yeah. no freedom there's no freedom at home there's freedom there there's no freedom yeah, no. Oh, wow. oh so you mean here mm. you can go anywhere you that can you do want. anything you can go around mm. Have but there you have no that freedom yeah. of moving everything around everything you need to do you ask first oh, mm -hmm. so you are given a permission before yes. you yes. that's not a good experience exactly <laughs> and there's something that i hear mm -hmm. i don't know i've never been there but i hear this that you cannot also move around without there's a document you need for moving around uh, apart from your passport is yes. it true yes which it's one uh, in their country they call it a camera ah. but in kenya it's a ID. Oh, oh yeah. your identification oh, card. Oh. If you don't have that one, you will use passport. Your passport. Mm. For you to walk around the street. Yeah, even in the shop. You, what? You a policeman can't... might stop you and ask you for your document. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have, they will take you with the police. Mm -hmm. Then the employer will come to take you from there. So, ah. me, me, I have a question. Mm. Does it apply to those girls who come from different countries or to the people who are in that country no also. when you go there the employer will uh, apply for you ah. mm. no i just mean mm. I the, restri the restriction is only for people for the foreigners or especially let me okay let's just put it the way it is right mm -hmm. you know when you're going there most people are arabs right yes and as you know like we are chocolate yeah that's melanin in us eh? mm -hmm. so like when they see you not because of doesn't really has to be discrimination or something you might know someone even you and amzungu passes here yeah. you'll just be like ah this one i, I don't usually see him or her or she, she or he is not from here Sawa. Yeah. so i think that's the same thing so, you know, yes. they just see you and then when you're walking around maybe you look confused they're like this one must oh, be so they sister. might yes. suspect mm -hmm. something yeah. Yeah. that's something like okay that. so i've got that one mm -hmm. so what? So, like, the, we, we should appreciate the freedom that we have here. Yeah. Like, so just walking around, going anywhere, like, moving around. Villages like, for us houses. here in Kenya, we have freedom. Too much yeah. freedom. You have freedom. Even when we are there, you, you, you can just go in. Let me say TikTok. You see how people are happy. Mm -hmm. And you, you are just there. You are happiest just only phone. Wow. Yeah. Because you... A, is this a Lebanon flag? No, no. Oh. <laughs> just a... Uh, what did you say? La. No, it's just for beauty. No, she spoke <laughs> for... Arab. <laughs> oh, she spoke <laughs> Arab. Not so she much. Arab. No. <laughs> so does it mean that you have learned some words? Yeah, too much because the people I was staying with them, mm. they don't know English. So you ah, have to learn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is... So you have an ad added... Ad so right now you can speak English, Swahili, your mother tongue, Arab, Arab. Arab four languages, just like so. That. That's an added advantage. advantage. Yes. Because, like, if you're going to work in another Arab country, like you will, you won't struggle in terms. You of have already barrier. experience. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. We like okay. that. Mm. Are you done with your question? Just one more. Mm. Do people go to Lebanon for vacation? Do you have like vacation places? Okay. Do you really know, or people mostly go there for work? Like tourists. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So does it? I don't it? think so because it's a small country. It's a small okay. country. Very small. Ah, but I think 
Is it Rwa not Rwanda or which country is the smallest in East, East Africa? Africa? It's Rwanda. It is Rwanda. Even this one, it's, it's very small. No, it's Rwanda. And why is it that Rwanda is small? People, the tourists are going there, yeah, Rwanda, but in Rwanda's, Arab, because Arabic they, countries, people are not going there. But people go, like they people go, go like Qatar, Qatar to buy. Yeah, no, it's still people Arabs. Vacation. Okay, UAE. Do they go there for vacation? Let's take it this way. Maybe it's just because they don't have that freedom of mm. moving around. So yes. they don't know things that are happening around, right? Yeah. Yeah. So are you done with your questions? Yeah, other some I will ask later. Okay. I know yeah. I, I still I, I, I might still have some questions. Oh yeah. so as for me I have few questions like mm. the first one, I would wish to know the challenges that you faced while there. The challenge, oh, let me say it was not easy because, mm -hmm. you know, the first time when you go there, you will know that the employer will be provided everything, mm -hmm. but it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the people are different. Mm -hmm. To me, the house I was, mm -hmm. I was providing my things with my own money. Everything, what? clothes, mm -hmm. your special things, you know, yeah. as girls, mm -hmm. you need many things. You just yeah. they just give you salary mm -hmm. and uh, you will need permission to go outside you, you go with them and, and then you go to buy your things but uh. but uh, <coughs> i think kenya is quite it is somehow better because when you go to some to some places to work like they will provide you with yeah. like the basic needs yeah like pads if you are a girl and other things. I don't know but if I, they're all employers, but yeah. it, oh, oh, so yeah. it also depends. Even it here depends. in Kenya, there are some people who don't provide that, yeah, truth sure. be told, right? Yeah. yeah. And there are some people who will provide that for their... Yeah. yeah. So, so I to me, I was using so my salary until the, the uh, end. So it yeah. means that maybe it, it depends easy. with that person you go yeah. to yeah. work for. Individually. Yeah. yeah. So that was the tough experience to me mm -hmm. and yeah. another one and things are things another are one cheap, free, yeah? freedom and we have many challenges in the house mm -hmm. but sometimes we take it like it's your home it's okay. like your parents ah. yeah. so <laughs> so sometimes maybe when you are in the house you mm. find out that <coughs> the work is too the workload is the work it's too much because mm. Mostly Arab people, they just limit time for wake up. But uh -huh. for sleeping, mm -hmm. they don't know. Because uh -huh. you, you can go to sleep like one at night, mm -hmm. two. What? But to wake up, it's six. six. six now, morning. let me ask. Uh -huh. You go to bed at one. Yeah, mostly Then you at wake one. up at? At six. So it means you've, you've you sleep slept like five, for how many hours? Five or four hours. Mm. Four mm. hours Four and you hours. you've uh, you've worked the whole day yeah what? and now this season of ramadan mm. you can't sleep you just sleep morning you transnight <laughs> <laughs> ah but that's not fair because mm. when you transnight at least they should add something on your salary you know you can't well, talk with them you, that is not you what you work. agreed on when you're <laughs> yes. Yes. no mm. but it's just good for someone to think about it and yeah. you know when you are the first timer, mm -hmm. you don't know anything, you'll just go, you don't know the employer, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll just go. So everything when they tell you, you need to do. Yeah. So yeah. Especially like knowing you're in a foreign country, that is not your home, like you just have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And how about like the crazy stories that you hear, like people being mistreated, the owner of the house wanting to sleep with the house manager, are these things true or even they also they depend in, with different people? Yeah, it depends with people and some it's true. Because uh, to me, I always say men are the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, men are the same. But you just know what you go there to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So men have feelings. Yeah. So when you go there with your feelings. <laughs> and, it, and that rules, you know, it's only Kenyans when we go there. Uh -huh. Things like laugh, you cut. You just uh, <laughs> and so you have to stop. Uh, you yeah. need to stop and the time you will come back. So when home. you go back there, like making love, eh? No. Those are the things you're supposed to leave them at the airport. Yeah. Yeah, you leave them. <laughs> you at live the in airport. the airport. So you leave them at the airport. You go there, you stay with your ass. 
until you come back. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> In local <laughs> language, we call it dry spell. <laughs> yeah, so you leave your dry spell yeah. in the airport. Mm. Oh you will just what? go there to work only. What? Like what? off, we don't have... Uh, it's like holiday, or how do I call it? Off, off day? Yes. There's no off day? No, there's no. So you work no. throughout? Yes. Eh. And that's... That's, <laughs> That's that two years it's uh, seven hundred no, hundred like and thirty like days. Someone will tell you maybe Friday or Saturday is mm. your off day. Nothing like that. Nothing. But in the contract we have. In the contract it's written yeah, like there's we an have, off day. You have one day to relax. But, but when you reach go, there, yeah. oh, we don't have. Ah, that's <laughs> not, that's unfair. That's unfair. You see, everyone uh -huh. that I know, everyone that I've spoken to that works or has worked in the Gulf, mm. no one has ever told me they had an off day. All of them, especially house managers, all of them, off day. Mm -mm. So they don't have an off yeah. day. Or don't sometimes you can get me. your employer have small kids. Mm -hmm. Where, uh, let me say, there you will have advantage. Because kids want to go outside to play. Uh -huh. Oh, so you are the one to take them? No, you will go with go your with boss. Oh, yeah. you go with them. Yes. Hey, that's good. But sure. if you find, you find the, the old people, mm -hmm. you can't go anywhere. Because yeah. you, you need to look there. after them. So, yes. for example, the house that you're working in, mm -hmm. did it have like young kids? or those No, ones? they were old, mm -hmm. but they are uh, let me say children. Uh -huh. They have small kids. Oh, yes. so the the owners of the house had grandkids. Yes, yeah, yeah. grandkids. So, so they kids. will just come on weekends. Mm -hmm. If they will go out, maybe you will go with them. Mm -hmm. Or on some days, maybe you are busy. Mm -hmm. You just remain. In oh, the so house. when they go out, you go with them. Mm -hmm. At least you have time to relax. Wow, that's good. But Somehow if they good, have but... small kids, you have very very big advantage. Because okay. everywhere they go, you go with them. You go with them. Mm. So at least you'll have a chance to move around. Oh, wow. We are learning. <laughs> <laughs> are you planning to go very soon? Maybe for <laughs> vacation. Like, you know, I, I, I really wanted to go after I lost my... Okay, before I lost my job, uh, professionally, I'm a hotelier. But, you know, like hotels in Kenya, we were not being paid so well. Yeah. So I heard there was an opportunity abroad. So I, I, didn't, I didn't go through with it, but there was a time... When after, like, you know, like, I had, my child was still small. I'm a young single mom. There's no work. I'm like, what do I have to do? So I had decided to go to Lebanon, actually. I oh, wanted wow. to go to As Lebanon. As a Yeah. But my parents, my dad especially, was against it. So I was like, I really wanted to go, but I didn't go. I didn't get the chance to go. Because uh, my dad was, like, against it from the word go. So I wanted to go back then. But right now, maybe uh, for vacation, I can mm. go, but it's not to work it's nice because not all people are bad. Mm -hmm. In Lebanon, we have uh, Christian and Muslim. Uh -huh. It's not only so like one, a, uh, one religion. Yes. Oh, oh. That's good. Because mm -hmm. you'll go to other countries and you just find there is one religion. That's good. Yeah. So, next question is Did you achieve what you went to do or you didn't achieve your goal before you came back? Mm, let me say I achieved even if it's small, mm -hmm. but it's better. I when I was there, I was sending my money home, mm -hmm. uh, and I appreciate my family mm -hmm. because they didn't eat my money. They were honest. Mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, they were honest yeah, to that, me. Uh, that's very very hard. Hard. Yeah, that's very hard. You know, there are some people who have gone there, and uh, when they come back, they complain about it. Bro. Yeah, they complain like. There is nothing they were sending. Everything was eaten yeah. up. And, and there we, we, you know, I got there as a first timer. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything. I don't have account. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, mm -hmm. I was knowing that I will send my money to, through, your through phone. my phone. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. So I was sending my money to someone, my else. To someone you trust. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. good you found someone who you, you can trust. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know, maybe on that one, maybe mm. I can add, like, you know, like with money, I know even family can turn against yeah, you. Yeah, that's money. true. Yeah. So I feel like maybe I can advise people who want to, to go there. Maybe just have plan where your money will be going before leaving. And yes. the best thing, just open your own account, account before you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. 
Like, you know, even if like money goes to someone account, even if you are the one sending it willingly, how are you going to say? Maybe you're, you are giving the and money. And sometimes you have really family can eat that money nothing you will do exactly yes. nothing you will do so you're you're so blessed to have like honest people yeah honest. so you you achieved something small yeah and what's that i just go, went by my small place mm -hmm. um, although it was expensive uh -huh. but i just take it because you can't keep money in your pocket yeah so yeah. you bought land yeah i wow. have a half acre. One acre. A half, half an acre. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wow, that, that is good. good. You know, there are some who just come and do this. Yeah, I think they have like done in life. Yeah. You, you can tell people that I went abroad or I went to like. To and this watch I achieved. Yeah, this is what I got. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, like you have a, at least you have a. I, I can say you have a. Are you married? No, I'm You're not. not. Yeah. You and me, same WhatsApp group. So. No, <laughs> no but we have babies. We have kids. Yeah. yeah. So, like, at least you would say mm. you have somewhere where you can call your own. Yes. Yes. Hey, that's good. Half an good. Acre. Congratulations. Half an yeah. acre. Congratulations. It's not a joke. At least you know <laughs> something. Imagine a first time and buying half an acre of that's land. Good. That's a good investment. Yeah. And keep it up. Thank you. So, are you are you planning to go back? Yeah, I'm planning, but not now. Mm -hmm. yes. You want to relax a little bit? Yeah, like two or three months. Yeah. Before you go back? <laughs> I was missing... How do I call you girl in English? Oh, just oh you, you are missing a girl. Yeah, and then, yeah we, then we don't have... So, I, I have to eat to gain weight before, before I go, go again. <laughs> yeah, and you, guys, as you know, for us, we are Louis. Ugali is <laughs> our stable food. Ugali, yeah, so she had missed Ugali. Yeah. Yeah, so that's and good. I was missed my family. Yeah. I have to to, to check on yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Wow. That to redone that bond. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I know, like being away for one and a half years is no easy. joke. It's yeah. no joke. So not a joke. I understand. Especially you, you have a kid, right? Yes. Yeah, it's so, not easy. It's good if you have achieved that and yeah. you are planning to go back. It means that you are going to get more. more. Yes. If yeah. you did, want more. Yeah, if you got that much in such a, a short time, it means like when you get a better opportunity. Imagine one more. year, six months, and she bought half an acre. It takes, us, it takes, land. It takes sacrifice. Yes. It's all about sacrifice. Yes. Even if the salary was small, but... You plan for it. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, at least you yes. plan for it and you sacrifice everything. Yes. Wow, that's good. That is good. Anything else? Mm, I've heard her saying mm -hmm. she had missed to Gali. So you had a challenge also when it came to Too food. much challenge. Food was there really? they used to eat rice. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Rice. Meat. Yeah, rice. What's up? Every hey, time, and rice for... and chicken, like every day, mm. rice and, and chicken. And for us, rice, Malika, it's just a snack <laughs> when you are waiting for Ugali. Yeah. So, you see? Alu uh -huh. has a special, you can't yeah. give someone rice and you expect them to... Uh, That's just a offense. snack. Yeah. So, me, I'm so, I feel like I'm so proud of you. And if you feel like you want to go again, but in a different... You don't want to go to Lebanon. No, I want, want to, to go to in a different, different country. country. Uh-huh. If you think or uh, you're saying you are not mistreated in any other way i think go for your dreams eh? go yeah. for your dreams and you know better you have since you have experience for a first timer i think initially i will tell them like don't go mm -hmm. but you've been there mm -hmm. you just want to go for the second time and you know your struggles back at home eh? you're yes. the one who knows better yes so you chase your dreams and follow your heart I will. so what would you tell those girls who are planning to go to any advice for them? To Gulf countries. <laughs> what I can tell them, before you go any country, the Arab people, mm -hmm. just call yourself meeting uh -huh. yeah, first. Don't you, you know, sometimes we, we just go to someone to ask, mm -hmm. can you connect me to go? Mm -hmm. And that person don't know anything about, the about, it, about it there. Mm -hmm. He will just do for you and go, mm -hmm. and you will find maybe... People who is not good, they mistreated to you. Mm. So before you go there, and many girls, they go without telling their family. Uh -huh. You will just go and get uh, mistreated. Yeah. And the family will know from there. Exactly. And you will give family the big problem. Yeah, 
uh, and hard time to to help you. Mm. It's good to talk with your parents mm. and get that blessings to go. <laughs> So you have to get that full information before From, you yes. leave your country. Yes. Then also inform your parents or mm. your guardians or, uh, that or you are family. going there. Yes. Yeah, at least they know you are Or ask about. someone. Mm. Ask, ask someone who was there before to help you before you got there. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Wow, that's good. That's for me. I'm happy for you. So if you are Thank planning you. to go back, just go and chase your dreams. I'm very sure you will get what you want in life. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish you the best. Thank you. I also what wish else? you the very, very best. And you're, I must say you're very hardworking. Yeah, you're yes, a very hardworking young girl. You know, when you grow alone, you have to work hard because of your kids. Yes. Yeah. Need to and work hard. That is so good. Yeah. That is so good. Keep it up. You said you're an orphan, right? Yes. So I understand. I just you. born alone. Oh, <laughs> only child. Yeah, yeah only, only one child. girl. And now you see, I have my small girl Your here. Small girl. So you are two. <laughs> and now we are being this world. <laughs> oh my God. That you is... are two. Yeah. And you know, as you go there to work, you just know that I've left my girl there. I True. have left my family. So I need to work hard. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you don't, don't need, need to, to play hard. there. Yeah. yeah. No games. When you go to Arabic countries, and what I was happy mm. the time I come back and I find all my family mm. they are there. Ah, mm. that is good. Yeah. It's a blessing. Yes. Yes. We don't take yes. for granted. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah. go. Because some, that. when you go there, maybe you can lost your, let me say, parents. Yeah. And the employer will not give you permission to exactly. come exactly. until you finish, you finish the contract. That's the a bad like, experience. You know, like, attending a burial in, for us lawyers, like, burials are treated like it's like a must. It's yeah. a yes, it's that a, you don't have and I have experience. Mm. There is one of my cousins mm. who is in Saudi Arabia, mm. and the dad just the the she just lost her dad. Mm. So when they contacted her that you should come back for the burial, mm. they they rejected that yeah. she should not come. So she didn't come. They buried her. You dad know that they take it like the absence. easy things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So. The dad was buried in her absence, so she has she never attended the burial. So you thank God when you come back yeah. and find your family, yeah. and you are uh, healthy. Mm. Because many we come back, maybe we 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 are sick. Maybe you how do I call? It? They are not in good condition. Yeah, in good condition. Yeah. So that has been our discussion for today and our girl here Jane Blessing has shared her experience in Lebanon as she was working in Lebanon yeah and you have just heard what she has said before you go there get know more about the do country yeah, yeah and do, do some research. research inform your parents and all that so what can you tell me my friends as we your fans as we wrap <laughs> your school uh -huh. people uh -huh. i know this is not the first time you're seeing this face uh please head over there to malika malika kenya and hit that subscribe button okay and also because i know like malik scored uh, somewhere yeah, they are here. yeah they are please, watching. in case you're watching here and you're from my channel support our girl okay support our girl rose and subs she's wrote to 10k only a few subscribers to 10 000. imagine 75 can you imagine that 25 subscribers to 10 000. and i know 10 000 is going to make her very very happy so please subscribe on her channel as well yes for more village videos authentic village videos also uh her Jen channel blessing. Jen blessing uh she just started she just yeah. started and I know when you subscribe, she will get motivated. Yeah. You can put up more videos. She'll give you more content. Yeah. yeah. So also subscribe to us. And we are going to be very happy three village girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So do you have something to tell my fans? What I can tell them, just subscribe to their channels. Mm -hmm. And do something for us before the end of this month. Let's reach 10k. Yes. Yeah, so and thank you for having me. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have you guys in my channel. Thank you. I'm so blessed today. And we've shared a lot. 
I really appreciate your presence here. So Skunix, go and subscribe to their channels. Malika Kenya, Gen Blessings. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you really enjoyed. See you soon on our next one. Bye. Bye.